What's changing as regards MT formats versus Camped and Pain? So uh, MT is the legacy format that's been used for 30 plus years over the Swift network. So Swift are going to cease to support the MT format as of November 25. Uh, and they will require that all traffic over Swift is in the uh, what they call the MX format, which is basically Pain or Camped, right? It's basically an XML format. So Pain is a format for payments, Camped is a format for statements. So this is why we have the sort of ISO migration work going on at the moment, because um, you know the core, the core of the banking system is moving from an MT format to an MX format. Uh, and so what that means is you need to change the way in which you make payments because there's going to be a lot more data that needs to be added because ISO compliant messages require a lot more data than, than MT messages did. But the other side of it is that statement data, which was normally MT 940s, MT 942s, they're just not going to be sent over the SWIFT network um, in about 18 months time. So you need to be prepared to be receiving the CAMT format instead, which again is a much richer XML ISO based format. Can I receive both an MT940 and a CAMT? The short answer is yes. You, you absolutely should be able to get both formats, uh, either you know, direct from Swift or via your bank. And the reason for that is we're currently in something called a, a dual running mode with Swift, where both are supported and it's at the discretion of the customer which format they want. Or they can have both if they want, but the bank has to support, you know, be able to support both. So you can absolutely request whichever format you want that data in. But again, just, just remember that as of November next year, the MT format is, is not going to be available. So the idea of this dual runnings is, is so that you can start to transition your systems over to the CAMT format. So what are the key differences between Payne version 3 and Payne version 9? So that's a, that's a really technical question. Um, and there's actually about 74, I think, different tags, if you like, or changes in tags between the two formats. But in essence, some of the key things that are being added is uh, this concept of legal entity identifier and purpose of payment codes. And that's added in in, uh, in certain areas of the message in terms of where it looks the kind of structure, like headers and transaction um, details. So it's not as simple as we've just added a a tag that you know says LEI, if you see what I mean. It, it's actually, it, it's done in a couple of places and the fundamental structure of the version nine message is, is different from, from that of the version three. Uh, and then on top of that, it, it just has more elements in it for things like structured remittances and things like that. So, so that essentially is the, is the crux of the differences.